Hey guys, how's it going? Eric here from Auto Bay Towners. Uh, basically, we installed the Guardian Angel. And um, the Guardian Angel is a very good device that you can use to save your engine from just about anything. How's it going guys? Just wanted to talk to you about um, the Guardian Angel version 3 from Stratified Automotive Controls. It's got a 4 bar map sensor in it. Uh, this is an important modification if you're going to do a uh, big turbo. It's highly recommended because of the fact that you're running a lot more boost pressure. Um, the chances of the boost um, lines from the turbocharger compressor housing to the wastegate actuator back there uh, the chances for them to pop off are a little bit higher uh, and if that line if the wastegate basically loses the boost source where's the wastegate it's right down there if that wastegate loses the boost source that line there if that pops off the wastegate will not open so what happens when the wastegate does not open is your turbo just keeps building boost. And when your turbo keeps building boost uncontrollably, your fuel system will at some point run out of um, fuel. And you'll run lean and you can detonate severely. And your engine at that point decides to um, retire. So it's highly recommended that you get one of these to protect your engine. So how this works is you have this line right here which used to run directly to the, the uh, vacuum nipple on the top of the bypass valve but now it runs from the manifold through the Guardian Angel right through it and out of it to the nipple. So basically this guardian angel now has control of the boost pressure on this line. So when your intake manifold, when you're at wide open throttle, your throttle body is open. Okay? The throttle body is right down here. That's your throttle body. And there's a little throttle plate in behind it. That opens and closes when you push the pedal. So when you're at wide open throttle, that, that throttle plate is fully open. So the pressure on this cold pipe here, right after the intercooler, is the same as the pressure in the intake manifold. When you let off the gas, that throttle plate closes, creating vacuum in the intake manifold, but this pressure on the cold pipe has to go somewhere. So since this line is connected to the intake manifold, when you let off the throttle, there's now vacuum in this line. So now there's vacuum in the top of the bypass valve, but there's still pressure on this side. So the pressure on this side pushes up on the valve, and the vacuum aids in that valve opening and overcoming the spring pressure inside that valve. And then the valve opens and the pressure is released to the turbo inlet and you're happy. So how this Guardian Angel works is in the event, since it's got a four bar map sensor in it, it's fully adjustable. You can adjust the PSI limit right there and you can adjust for VTA if you have a blow off valve venting the atmosphere. So I've currently got it set at about 24 PSI. So if this thing sees 24 PSI from this boost uh, hose right here, it will activate 
and basically block off and possibly bleed the boost source onto the back of this. So now there's not gonna be any boost on top of the valve and only boost in here, which will push the valve open, releasing all the pressure and saving your engine. Another good thing that the Guardian Angel can do is that it's equipped with an external trigger. So how that works is one of these wires here can be uh, routed up to an external trigger like a flow meter on a water methanol injection kit. And if the flow meter detects low flow from your me methanol injection kit, it'll send a, uh, a voltage signal out into the Guardian Angel and the Guardian Angel will activate and dump all the boost. So when you're setting your PSI limits, um, from what I've read, uh, the printed uh, numbers on the actual casing don't necessarily line up 100% with the actual dial. So it's gonna take a little bit of trial and error to figure out the exact uh, boost pressure that it opens at and make adjustments accordingly. Um, with the VTA option, uh, the more, uh, if you're running a, a fully uh, venting the atmosphere valve, you would wanna set it to, I guess, the F position. And if it's kind of like a hybrid, you would set it anywhere in the middle. Uh, again, I think this takes some trial and error to see uh, what your air to fuel ratios are like in between shifts. And how I think it works, I'm, I'm not too sure on it, but you'd have to do some more research if you're not 100%, is basically I think it limits the amount of time that the blow off valve is open for, which limits the amount of air that's vented to the atmosphere, which controls how rich the engine runs in between shifts. Since I'm not using a blow off valve, I'm fully recirculating my um, my blow up my sorry my bypass valve I have this set to the off position currently the guardian angel only works with push type blow off or bypass valves not pull type so if you're not sure just quickly google it but basically a, a push type bypass or blow off valve uh, uses the boost pressure to push against the piston to open the valve whereas a pull type uh, uses this the vacuum source here, if there's a valve here, it'll pull the valve open and then dump the boost. But the good thing, there's benefits for either of them, but um, basically from what I've read, the, the pull type valves, since this pulls the valve open and lets the boost out, the good thing about those is that you, as boost pressure increases, it pushes the valve closed even further, creating a better seal. Um, but the Guardian Angel, again, only works with a push type, such as the OEM one. We did order a Cobb XLE bypass valve, which is coming in the mail, and uh, we'll make a video on the install of that as well. One little quick thing about the OEM bypass valve is that uh, from what I've read, they're known to leak right here at this top flange. So about apl I've applied epoxy to it to prevent that from happening, and it's, it's holding 22 PSI, no problem. But what ends up happening is when this leaks, the pressure from this boost source into the top here starts to leak out, but the pressure here does not leak out. So the pressure here gets higher than the pressure here, which then prematurely opens the valve, and then you start losing boost pressure. So by applying epoxy here, you're preventing the leak up top and uh, allowing the valve to stay closed then at wide open throttle. So the Guardian Angel basically has this LED that comes off of it. You can run it into the cabin. Um, we didn't run it in, into the cabin because uh, we just didn't really care. It's just an LED. You'll feel it when it activates anyways. But yeah, there's instructions online on how you can install it. It's a pretty straightforward install, but yeah, it's uh, it's definitely a good device to have. So once we get the Cobb XLE bypass valve installed and working with the Guardian Angel, we'll pretty much be ready to start actually dialing the car in for power. We're still on that base map, but once we start uh, dialing in some power, turning up, well, the boost is kind of already turned up a bit, but the, the ignition timing is very conservative. We're still, um, in the process of dialing in the air to fuel ratio and all that kind of stuff, but we're pretty much trying to make sure the setup is as safe and reliable as possible. So we got the Guardian Angel to protect from overboost issues and loss of wastegate control. Uh, we got a high quality gob boost control solenoid and you know, just a, just a proper tune is your most important thing. Um, so just make sure your tuner is reliable and reputable and um, you'll be uh, boosting around town with a smile on your face. When we tune the car up, uh, we're gonna be street tuning it. Uh, we're not gonna go to a dyno, we're just gonna use virtual dyno as a tool. So I hope you guys enjoyed this little bit of a video here on the uh, Guardian Angel and how it works and the importance of it. Uh, stay tuned for more.